Hello, this is Eva at ilovetostamp.com. I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I have a fun new technique that I discovered, uh, at least to me. Maybe this already existed, I don't know, but um, I've discovered it just by a mistake. Uh, sometimes that's how techniques happen, right? Um, so I wanted to share this with you. So as you can see, I, I have this beautiful card, well, it is to me, uh, created with a bird ballad. Uh, stamp set actually sorry it's called free as a bird <laughs> stamp set the bird ballad is the sweet name if you're interested um, what I did here is I actually was trying to do something that I don't even remember what I was trying to do but I came across this uh, that you actually can uh, white emboss an image and then um, color the white or uh, white embossed lines uh, with uh, pencils and in this case I used Stampin' Up's uh, watercolor pencils because that's what I had at hand um, and I think it turned out pretty awesome so let me show you how I made this cute card so first again I used for uh, free as a bird uh, stamp set and um, you're gonna need um, basically Versamark, uh, white embossed powder, the watercolor pencils or maybe other pencils will work as well um, I also used on this card um, the stitch nested labels, uh, which comes as a bundle with the free as a bird uh, stamp set. If you haven't picked it up yet, I highly recommend it. It's really beautiful and comes with multiple sizes of this shape. It's awesome. So um, I'm also going to have um, all the instructions on my blog. Um, you can go uh, to www.ilovetostamp.com and you will find a free PDF download as well. If you would like to take it to go, that would be the best, best thing to do. So um, I'm going to get started and we're going to focus on the focal point at first. So for that you will need um, Stamparatus preferably because that's one way that I'm, I love um, stamping larger images. Um, or images in case I have to repeat the stamping, I can do that with my Stampin' Up! Um, with um, no problem where did I stamp before, so I love that tool. If you don't have that one yet, I highly recommend getting it. So um, I already prepared my uh, black cardstock and I'm gonna go over it with my embossing buddy. Ink up my um, image with uh, Versamark. It's just the standard embossing technique which I'm pretty sure you already got going, but anyway, it's that's what it is. So I think my image is okay on here, so I'm going to put this away and go ahead and emboss this. And don't worry, I will speed this up so you don't have to watch me emboss. Okay, so I'm back and uh, basically what I did is I white embossed my image and then I went ahead and die cut it also with the second largest uh, die from the nested stitch nested labels. So, and here is where the magic is going to start happening. And you'll see this is so easy and again, you don't have to be an artist, you don't have to be a perfectionist uh, or anything like that, but uh, basically all you're gonna do is just color in the lines as I always call it. So I. I used um, Daffodil Delight, I used Melon Mumbo, I used Early Espresso, I used Old Olive, and Bermuda Bay. I'm going to start off with Bermuda Bay, and that's basically my birdies on the outside. And as you can see, and I'm going to pull it closer to you as well, I'm basically going to go over the embossed lines with my pencil wherever I want to uh, use it. I'm also going to go in in the uh, within the lines as well, wherever I want to color. So I'm actually going to color on the black cardstock as well. So as you can see, so I just kind of went over the embossed lines. Don't be afraid of that. It's not going to hurt the embossing, it seems. And I'm just uh, basically coloring in. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And you can see how the magic is happening. And... Uh, that's pretty much all you're gonna do. It's it's actually a pretty easy and quick card, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I might speed up the video just so you can you don't get bored here. <laughs> so, and in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you where I have colored what, and then I'll speed up the video for you. So, um, for the birdie, once again, I colored in some sections 
of the outlines are Bermuda Bay, and then some insides of the birds are like with the Daffodil Delight. Um, some of them I used um, the old olive on, like in the middle here, and also here as well. Um, the beaks, basically I used Daffodil Delight as well. I'm just letting you know on that too. Okay, so then the next um, areas I want to share is the leaves, obviously old olive. And the stems of the flowers too is old olive. And then the flowers were um, our melon mumbo. And as you see, I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just I'm just going around it. So it's it's really super easy. You don't have to be perfect. You just don't want to really go way out, but um, you want to color in within the lines. And then finally, uh, the other part I did is the branch that they're sitting, the birdies are sitting on. And that one is early espresso. And again, just the whole thing I colored in. So there. So I'm going to speed up now. Okay, so I am completely done and I'm pretty happy with this. Um, as you can see, it went from just a white embossed image to a very colorful black um, on the black cardstock image. And I'm just going to wipe off some of the excess colors and I think it's adorable, don't you? Okay, so um, that's pretty much the technique. So imagine if you white embossed any flowers, um, you know, you could create a really beautiful look on black cardstock or any cardstock really because you could imagine I could imagine this maybe even on on a craft color um, cardstock and or even white um, actually that would be quite beautiful now that I'm thinking um, imagine white embossing on white and then going back and coloring it with um, the pencils that would be super fun so hope you like this but let me finish this card okay so basically what I did is um, I went ahead and cut um, this is my focal point underneath the um, the flowers. I, I cut a, a panel, uh, which is Coastal Cabana, and I ran it across the Scripty, Scripty 3D um, embossing folder, which I love. Uh, speaking of that, I want to showcase a couple of other cards I made with Scripty, just in case you haven't fallen in love with it yet. These are just some of my cards most recently I created, and I love the look of it. Um, and as you can see on this one, I um, embossed on white and then I went in with um, uh, just some other colors I added in there and it, I think it's just really pretty. In this case as well, um, I know I embossed it, but I would like to make it pop a little bit. So as you can see the difference between these two, um, I don't know if you're able to see it on the video, but I hope you can. This one is uh, just plain embossed. This one I added some white in, um, uh, white ink. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. Excuse my embossing, I mean my, my ink pad is pretty dirty. Um, but anyway, all I do is I just brush it against my embossed image cardstock. And, and it, in sections where it's raised or at the edges, it will catch on, the ink will catch on to it. So I don't need to do hold, hold the whole card because my uh, label is going to cover it up. So, but if you can see this, I hope you can on the video, you can tell definitely that there are some um, white edges there. So um, I also cut a mat, which is only an eighth inch larger than what this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my snail and attach it. Okay. All right, that's about in the middle. Next thing I did is I actually um, cut a um, Daffodil Delight card base and I used, um, I wanted to do a little bit of um, interesting stuff on the edges so that it's not boring. And I basically am using the little leaf that came in the stem set right here. And I used um, Granny Apple Green. So you'll need Granny Apple Green. And all I did is stamped on the edge 
and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's actually going to be covered up so I just kind of stamped it that way and I repeat it on this too. Um, there's this technique I love because it's always interesting you know um, it just adds something to the card right it's not so flat so anyway now this panel here that I just created I'm gonna go ahead and cut okay I used uh, this beautiful ribbon first of all it is the um, let me get the name of it it's a 3 8 inch and it's old olive and pretty peacock and I love it because it's it's pretty peacock on one, one side and old olive and yet it has this iridescent gorgeous look to it so I love it I cut about a 16 inch uh, piece and a ribbon and basically what I did is I just uh, tied a bow on on the top kind of so let me um, hopefully I can do that on on video too I don't know let's just see <laughs> sometimes on video it's a little bit nerve-wracking <laughs> but let me give it a go and see if I can recreate the pretty bow I made on my card without too much fussing okay so it's sort of okay ish okay Yeah, that's about right and I'm just gonna cut the edge off here maybe a little bit more here as well and I'm good I'm happy with that and I made a boo-boo before I made I stamped I mean I I made a boo-boo I already tried to glue this down so don't do that before you tie your ribbon but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and reattach it now so as you can see you can fix things right and I decided to leave that mistake and show it to you <coughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and um, adhere this in the middle of my card base and then all we have to do now is attach this and then just uh, do our little sentiment. So this uh, label I actually adhered with um, Stampin' Dimensionals. I love mini Stampin' Dimensionals and I use them a lot but when I have a bigger um, uh, image, a big, bigger part that I want to adhere I like to use my Stampin' Dimensionals. So, and it's pretty quick and easy. Okay, so I'm um, just going to go ahead and adhere this in the middle of my card. Yes, right there. Is that cute? Okay, and the last thing we'll do is going to go ahead. I already hand cut, I mean, I already cut a little strip of paper um, out of uh, Daffodil Delight. And I'm using that um, really cute sentiment and I used actually uh, Memento Tuxedo Black for that. And I'm gonna stamp it on here. It doesn't matter where you stamp it or if your paper is bigger uh, because we're going to cut it out with paper snips. And I'm just gonna do that quickly. This really is a fast one. It doesn't require a whole lot of fussing. So. there and I'm actually gonna cut this down even a little more as you see you don't have to be um, so perfect with this there and that's done and now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my liquid glue yeah that's good enough liquid glue and um, just adhere it just a little bit And I'm just adding it to here and the card is done look I have two identical cards and they both are super cute would you agree well that's it so see what you can do with embossing you just need Versamark um, white embossing powder a couple of watercolor pencils or perhaps other pencils might work too now uh, let me know if you um, tried out of um, coloring pencils and uh, and a beautiful image and uh, just a little bit of time and there you have it that's all it is so thank you for watching this hope you visit my blog for the downloadable uh, PDF tutorial and for all the sizes of for um, this particular card and all the products I stated um, that I used 
and um, I would love to be your demo if you're in Canada. If you would like to purchase any of these products, I will have the list of them on my blog at ilovetostamp.com. Hope to see you there. Thank you and um, hope you enjoyed this video and this new technique. And if you've seen this technique before, let me know because I haven't. And um, maybe I just have been under the rock, but I haven't seen it. So I hope I came up with something new. Anyway, thanks. Have a great day. Bye.